In this lesson, we're going to explore the difference between the word jour and journée, and soir and soirée, matin, matinée, an, année. Sometimes it's really hard to know when you're supposed to use these words because in English, you know, we don't have different words for day and evening and morning and year. So in French, it is important to just learn a few rules. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. Um, let's first look at just these words. You'll notice that the masculine words, un jour, un soir, un matin, and un an, are shorter. D'accord? And then the feminine words all end in the E accent aigu, followed by another E. Une journée, une soirée, une matinée, and une année. And all the way on the left, you'll see that in my English translations, they're exactly the same. A day is un jour and une journée. Okay, we'll talk about the differences in just a few minutes. Um, but let me tell you a little something just about saying hello and goodbye in French. Now, I'm sure you know bonjour is hello. Bonne journée means have a nice day. D'accord? Bonne journée. It's a way to say goodbye. Bonsoir is another way to say hello, but in the evening time, so good evening. But bonne soirée, again, you're saying goodbye. Have a nice evening. Now, here's something. Um, if you ever say bon matin, you have to know, I want to tell you right now, that this does not exist in French. So even though in English you might want to say good morning, you just say bonjour, d'accord? Bonjour. So there's no bon matin. However, if you're saying goodbye to someone and it's in the morning hours, you want to say have a nice morning, there you can say bonne matinée. Bonne matinée. Okay, so we're going to look at some rules and examples. And if you are following this course in the Love Learning Languages French Academy, you have your cours worksheet. Uh, make sure you have that out so that you can write um, where instructed to. You can fill in the blanks as you follow the lesson. Okay, uh, the short masculine words that we've already seen refer to simple amounts of time and they're defined. Okay, so we're going to use words like jour, soir, matin, and un when we're counting, for example. Um, also, when you're telling your age, you're going to use un. Uh, when you're saying how many days or years you've been in a place or how long you've had something, we're always counting and using the short words. So, un jour, un jour, Let's think about a calendar. It's un jour is a 24-hour period, right? There are 365 of them in a year. D'accord? So that's un jour. Le jour is different to un jour. Okay? Le jour, we're talking about daytime. When it begins and when it ends, of course, it's a rough estimation, but generally speaking, beginning at sunrise and ending around sunset. D'accord? That's le jour as opposed to un jour. Remember, un jour is a counting jour, a counted day. So it's like un jour, deux jours, trois jours, you see, as opposed to le jour. Okay, the same thing for soir. Uh, le soir begins roughly around sunset and ends when you go to bed. Okay, uh, le matin begins at sunrise ends at noon. And then un an, we're going back to the calendar, it's a 12-month period. Okay? So those are the short masculine words. Now let's look at the feminine words. Now they're the ones that end in the E accent aigu with another E. Here we're talking about non-specific lengths of time. We're talking about durations of time, not calendar days. Okay? So we're not going to use these to count. Une journée, it just means a day. Well, I just told you that un jour means a day. Yes, but remember, that's counting. That's a 24-hour period. Here, 
une journée is a non-defined duration of time, just like une soirée, okay, but it's in the evening time. Now, une soirée can also refer to an event that happens in the evening, d'accord? Uh, what about une matinée? Une matinée is a non-defined uh, duration of time in the morning, and une année is a year, okay? A non-defined duration of time. So what I want you to remember for right now is we're not going to use those longer feminine words for counting. Now, as we go through this lesson, you're going to see that the word année uh, is involved in several exceptions. You know there are going to be exceptions in any French class, any French lesson, right? Um, in these examples that I'm about to show you, you actually have a choice. You can, for example, if you want to say last year, you can either say l'an dernier or you can say l'année dernière. D'accord? Uh, l'an prochain, l'année prochaine, it's your choice. Le nouvel an, la nouvelle année, again, optional. Even this one, this one's very interesting. Trois ans à Paris, three years in Paris. I'm counting those, right? But I can also say trois années à Paris. Okay. Now, these four examples are very specific, and they're the only ones that give you this option okay, to go either way. Um, so, we've talked about counting. Just want to show you some examples. You're going to always use the masculine words when you're counting. So, my example for un jour. J'ai passé six jours à Londres. J'ai passé six jours à Londres. Un soir, je sors trois soirs par semaine. Je sors trois soirs par semaine. Un matin, je fais du yoga sept matins sur sept. Je fais du yoga sept matins sur sept. Um, every time I teach this lesson, my students say, sept matins sur sept, what is that? So it just means every day, really, every morning of the week, seven mornings a week. It's an expression, okay? Now, you could say sept matin par semaine, but it's much more French to use this expression. Sept matin sur sept, d'accord? Uh, I told you earlier that we're going to use un an when we're expressing someone's age, for example. Elle a 49 ans. Elle a 49 ans. Now, you're also going to use the masculine words with adverbs of time. Adverbs of time, all I mean here, if you just want to write this down, uh, all I'm talking about is demain and hier. Demain, tomorrow, hier, yesterday. D'accord? So, un soir, je te verrai demain soir. Je te verrai demain soir. I'll see you tomorrow evening. We're going to say demain soir and not demain soirée. D'accord? Or with hier, je t'ai vu hier soir. Je t'ai vu hier soir. I saw you last night. Now, technically, that means yesterday evening, right? Hier soir. Un matin, je travaillerai demain matin. Je travaillerai demain matin. That's the future simple, travaillerai. J'ai travaillé hier matin. J'ai travaillé hier matin. D'accord? I worked yesterday morning. Masculine words, adverbs of time, demain and hier. Now, I'm going to show you how to use these words with demonstrative adjectives. D'accord? So, we're going to use the masculine words with demonstrative adjectives for un jour, un soir, and un matin. So demonstrative adjectives, these are the different forms of ce, okay? Ce, cet, ce, cet. My example for un jour. Je ne pourrai pas venir ce jour-là. Je ne pourrai pas venir ce jour-là. I will not be able to come that day. Ce jour-là. D'accord? Un soir. Tu passeras chez moi ce soir? Tu passeras chez moi ce soir? Again, there you have the future simple. Will you stop by my place this evening, ce soir? 
Un matin, j'ai bu du café ce matin. J'ai bu du café ce matin. I drink coffee this morning. I drink some coffee this morning. OK? So, ce jour, ce soir et ce matin. Get ready for an exception. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen with année. Okay, so we're not going to say un an with a demonstrative adjective. I mean, we're not going to use un an, the, the simple masculine form with a demonstrative adjective. We are going to use the word année instead. Okay, we're going to use the feminine form, cette année. And not sept ans, C-E-T-A-N. Don't use that, okay? Cette année. So, qu'est-ce que tu veux accomplir cette année? Qu'est-ce que tu veux accomplir cette année? What do you want to accomplish this year? D'accord? Now, if we take this same sentence, qu'est-ce que tu veux accomplir? And we want to say this morning. Yes, we say ce matin. Qu'est-ce que tu veux accomplir? Ce matin, qu'est-ce que tu veux accomplir ce soir, but cette année? You're going to get a lot of practice with these um, if you're following my course when we go through the exercise I've prepared for you and especially the 50 practice cards. Okay, and you'll get a lot of practice with these. Okay, for right now, just lots of rules, huh? We're going to use the feminine words with interrogative adjectives. Interrogative adjectives, I mean the different forms of quel. Okay, you'll see it in the examples. Now, when we're using the word quel along with these feminine words, many times we're making an exclamation. Remember if you say something like, quelle journée incroyable, quelle journée incroyable, we're saying, what an amazing day. That's an exclamation, right? Now, even though I'm going to say, quelle journée incroyable, when I'm asking what day it is, I'm going to revert to the masculine form. And the reason for that, remember, we're going back to the calendar, right? What, what day is it today? <laughs> oh, it's Sunday. Or, oh, you know, it's February 4th or whatever. Okay, so, nous sommes quel jour Nous sommes quel jour? What day is it? Quel jour sommes-nous? You could have said, quel jour sommes-nous? So with soirée, if I'm making an exclamation, quelle belle soirée, what a beautiful evening, quelle belle soirée, I have to remember that if I am referring to a calendar evening, we're still going to use the masculine form, just like we did with jour. Tu viens quel soir? Tu viens quel soir? Which evening are you coming? Quel soir viens-tu? <laughs> D'accord? Matinée. It's the same thing. Quelle matinée horrible. Quelle matinée horrible. What a horrible morning. But, calendar morning, tu préfères quel matin de la semaine? Tu préfères quel matin de la semaine? All right. Now, let's look at année. The same thing holds true for année. Okay? We're going to use the feminine form with Q-U-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Tu as fini tes études en quelle année? Tu as fini tes études en quelle année? I realize this could be a little confusing, because when we say, what year did you finish your studies, we are being very specific about a year, right? And I told you that when we're being very specific and talking about calendars, that we're going to use the masculine form. But even though the answer to this question indicates a specific year, we're still going to use quelle année, the feminine form. So just add that to the list of irregular things about année, okay? Um, what about other kinds of adjectives? Well, we're just going to use feminine words with them, okay? Une journée, c'était une bonne matinée. C'était une bonne matinée. D'accord, that was a good morning. Une soirée, 
On va passer une soirée agréable. On va passer une soirée agréable. Une matinée. Quelle matinée chargée. Quelle matinée chargée. Une année. C'est une année exceptionnelle. C'est une année exceptionnelle. Now, before I go on and show you some other rules, I want to look at my example for matinée. Quelle matinée chargée. That word chargé, you may have looked at that and thought, hmm, that's a new one. I thought busy was occupé. Well, you're right. Busy is occupé. A person is occupé. You got it? I mean, you can use that. But there's a difference between a person being busy and having a busy morning or a busy week or a busy schedule. Okay? If it's not a person, I want you to use the word, the adjective chargé instead. D'accord? Okay, ça continue. Uh-oh, here we go. Some exceptions. Quelques. Quelques. So, quelques means some. And we're going to use the masculine form of jour, soir, and matin with quelques. A few days, quelques jours, few evenings, quelques soirs. A few mornings, quelques matins, but année, année. Use the feminine form for a few years. Quelques années, quelques années. And look, the word chaque, chaque, you know it means each. Uh, if you want to say each day, it also means every day. You can say chaque jour, masculine, chaque soir, masculine, chaque matin, masculine, but of course, chaque Année. Chaque année, using the feminine form for année. Okay? How do you like all of these rules? <laughs> We're not even finished yet. That's why this lesson is so important. You just have to learn the rules. Now, look at this. We're going to use the feminine words, so journée, soirée, matinée, année, when followed by words like dans, or in other words, it would actually be dans la, because we're using the feminine words. Dans la, pendant la, durant la. Okay. For example, une journée, il faut boire au moins deux litres d'eau durant la journée. So it means it is necessary to drink two liters of water during the day. You know, durant and pendant mean the same thing. And you could have also said dans la journée here. I mean, they're really interchangeable. I just wanted to give examples with all of them. Uh, so remember that. Dans, pendant, durant, feminine. Okay? Because we're not talking about a calendar day. We're talking about the duration of the day. Une soirée. Ils passeront dans la soirée. Ils passeront dans la soirée. D'accord? They'll stop by in the evening, at some point. D'accord? Now, we're not saying something like, they stopped by last night. Remember, last night would be hier soir, using the masculine form. Now we're saying, at some point, during an undefined time in the evening. D'accord? Une matinée. Une matinée. Je te verrai dans la matinée. Je te verrai dans la matinée. I'll see you at some point in the morning hours. Pendant l'année 2020, nous sommes restés à la maison. Pendant l'année 2020, nous sommes restés à la maison. D'accord? So I'm talking about the duration of the year. Okay? Um, now, let's look at two. With Two, and it's different forms, you can uh, use masculine and feminine words, okay? So, for example, for un jour, je fais mon lit tous les jours. I make my bed every day. D'accord? Those are calendar days. I'm counting them, so I'm using the masculine form. Um, but I can use the feminine form, une journée, if I want to say, j'ai passé toute la journée avec toi. Okay, so the difference between je fais mon lit tous les jours, that means every day. I'm counting them. 
Toute la journée means the whole day. So it's the duration of it. You see the difference? Same kind of thing happens with soir. J'y vais tous les soirs. J'y vais tous les soirs. I go there every evening. I can count those evenings. But ça va durer toute la soirée. Ça va durer toute la soirée. It's going to last all evening, the duration of the evening. You see how this goes? So, un matin, je me lève tôt tous les matins. Je me lève tôt tous les matins. I get up early every morning, tous les matins. But the feminine form, une matinée. J'étais en cours de français toute la matinée. J'étais en cours de français toute la matinée. And in this case, toute la matinée means all morning, all morning long. Okay, un an, this is a countable year. Tu y retournes tous les ans? Tu y retournes tous les ans? Okay, do you go back there every year? And une année. Here we're talking about the duration of a year. On avait passé toute une année en Provence. On avait passé toute une année en Provence. We had spent a whole year in Provence. D'accord? So, that's how you use it with two. Just a word about um, using the masculine words jour, soir, and matin preceded by le. When you say something like je travaille le jour, it means I work during the day. I work during the daytime hours. Uh, je travaille le soir. Je travaille le matin. D'accord? So these mean during the day, during the evening, during the morning. And you may ask yourself, well, Jennifer, could I, had, could I have said je travaille pendant la journée? We, oui. yes, it means the same thing. But you just have to remember when to use the masculine one and when to use the feminine version. So, je travaille le jour and je travaille pendant la journée do mean the same thing, okay? Uh, un jour, masculine. I'm just going to show you some examples, okay? And then we'll be finished with the lesson. And um, you can move on to your exercise and practice cards uh, within the course. Okay, but let's do let's let's do take some time and look at a few more examples. So un jour, remember it expresses a quantity or a set amount of time. J'habite en France depuis cinq jours. <laughs> That's not very long. J'habite en France depuis cinq jours. D'accord. I have been living in France for five days. Or how about une journée? Une journée. Les journées passées à la plage sont tellement agréables. Les journées passées à la plage sont tellement agréables. Days spent at the beach are so lovely. Hmm? Alors, un soir. Un soir, the masculine form. C'est une réunion qui commence à exactement 8 heures du soir. C'est une réunion qui commence à exactement 8 heures du soir. D'accord? Now, it's true that in France, a uh, meeting that begins exactly at 8 o'clock in the evening, most of the time we would use the, the 24-hour clock for that and say à 20 heures. Right, but I wanted to say huit heures here because you, if you want to use the 12-hour clock, that's fine, but you have to put du soir after it so that we know you're talking about the meeting beginning at 8 o'clock in the evening rather than 8 o'clock in the morning, okay? That's why the 24-hour clock is so handy. Um, alors, une soirée. On arrivera pendant la soirée. On arrivera pendant la soirée. So remember, if you're saying pendant, la, dans, la, or durant, la, then we use the feminine form. So I went running this morning. Je suis allé courir ce matin. Je suis allé courir ce matin. I went running this morning. Ce matin, that's an adverb uh, that expresses time, okay? 
voilà. OK. Une matinée. J'ai passé toute la matinée à ranger l'appartement. J'ai passé toute la matinée à ranger l'appartement. Look at that. J'ai passé, and then of course we have toute la matinée, and then I have a before the infinitive. Did you know that's um, when you want to say that you spent an amount of time doing something, the verb you have to use is passé, and then you put the amount of time, and then you need a before the infinitive. Okay. Allez, un an. I'm going to New York for one year. Je pars à New York pour un an. Je pars à New York pour un an. I could have said je vais à New York pour un an. But I just wanted to use par so that you can be reminded that very often when you're going uh, to a place, whether it be on vacation or to a city or something like that, you can use partir instead of aller. D'accord. Euh, une année féminine. Quelle année géniale. Quelle année géniale. What an awesome year. What a wonderful year. What a super year. But don't forget about this exception. Even though it's specific and calendar related, when you want to say what year is it, we're going to say nous sommes en quelle année. Nous sommes en quelle année? So we're using Q-U-E-L-L-E, -E, quel, followed by the feminine, quelle année? Now we said we were going to use quel with the masculine forms of the other one, Q-U-E-L. Which day? Quel jour? Which morning? Quel matin? Which evening? Quel soir? But for année, quelle année? Quelle année? D'accord? Okay. So let me just scroll up real fast so that I can show you everything just very quickly one more time. Really the rules is what we are concerned with. So first thing, don't forget that with the word ane or an, sometimes you have options in these very specific situations. Uh, when you're counting, you're going to use the masculine words. You're going to use the masculine words with adverbs of time, like soir and matin. With demonstrative adjectives, you are going to use the masculine words, except for the word année. So there's an exception. Okay, cette année, C-E-T-T-E. -E. You're going to use feminine words with interrogative adjectives, and by those I mean the different forms of quel, Unless you are referring to a specific calendar day uh, or evening or morning, d'accord? Uh, and the same is true for année, but with année, we're always going to use the feminine form, Q-U-E-L-L-E, quelle année. If other adjectives are concerned, we're going to use the feminine words with them, d'accord? Uh, with quelque and chaque, You have some important exceptions, again, uh, in reference to the word année. When we're using dans la, pendant la, or durant la, we're always going to go with the feminine words. When we are using tu, we can use masculine and feminine words, just remembering that it's going to change the meaning. So if you use the masculine word, like Tous les jours, it means every day, but toute la journée, it means the whole day. Okay, so that's the rule for two. Um, and then that's basically it for this lesson, okay? So again, if you are following this lesson at the Love Learning Languages French Academy, the next thing I want to do with you is uh, go through an exercise. And then you can listen to the audio explanation and then we'll move on to your set of 50 practice cards and uh, you also have an audio version of that. Okay? Allez, à toutes!